Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I miss you all so much. It's been like four days since I posted a video and that's not normal. I like to post almost every day, but we've been trying to get our place together. But I'm bringing you all an affordable unit. It's a gorgeous deep wave from Lumiere Hair. And I love that they have these wig caps that are my scalp color. That always gets me excited. So I'm taking off this one that I have on and replacing it with this one. And then we're gonna move into the specifications of this unit. So this is what it looks like. It does come with the baby hair already pre-done. This is the texture and it's a deep wave. But guys, if you do a little technique that I'm gonna show you all later on in the video, you can make it look like curls. This is what the inside construction looks like. It does come with three combs, but it doesn't come with an elastic band, so you'd have to sew that on. The pre-plucked hairline has been done minimally, so I'd advise you if you want a different look, then go in and customize it yourself. But for the most part, what they've done is a really good starting point, especially for the price of this unit. So I'm just gonna tweeze it and then I'm gonna come back on when we move to the next step. So now that I've tweezed the front hairline, in order to make this unit look more natural, you do want to conceal the knots. This unit did not come with the knots bleached, so I am going to use the Sally Hanson in color Deep Glow in order to conceal those knots, and this is also going to help to tint the lace. For those who are my OGs, you know that I do this a lot, and y'all, I stand behind this method. It is so great, quick and easy, and stress-free. If it is your first time trying this method, don't be alarmed if you see some of the product transfer onto the hair. That's perfectly fine. It's perfectly normal. Just use a makeup wipe to clean off the excess. And if you find that there's still some left on the hair, don't worry, you can get it off later on in the install. So right now I'm just showing you all what the parting space looks like. You only get about three to four inches of parting. This is a 13 by four lace frontal. On the sides, you probably get like two inches. So keep that in mind, it's not going to be a really long or um, you're not going to get a great deal of parting space for this particular unit, but it's enough to make it work and also create a natural install. After you cut the lace off in the front of your unit, you want to position it and play around with it to make sure that it's fully aligned and it's where you want it before you glue it down or use some form of adhesive. If you notice that there's any more of the excess product from the Sally Hansen on the hair, you can clean it up at this time. You could also begin to tweeze the hairline a little more. Some people like to do it while it's on the mannequin head, but others like to do it while it's on their head, and that's a good tactic as well because you can kind of see your hairline a little more and kind of modify it accordingly. Oh. 
I hope you all are paying attention. A rat tail comb will come in handy when you're installing your unit. It'll help it to lay really flat and also help the most affordable unit look more natural. So now that we have the elastic band on and we're allowing that to set, I'm gonna begin to create more so of a curly look with its deep wave texture. So I'm gonna create coils in the hair and I'm just taking strands of the hair and just wrapping it and coiling it around my finger and that's gonna give it a more defined look and I love the way it turned out. So if you like this look and you want it to look more curly, then go through and just coil it. And you don't actually have to do this to the whole unit. I actually just did the top layer. So I actually just took small to medium sections of hair and just began to coil it just at the top. And I also wanted the front to have a flip over look. So I'm applying some Nairobi mousse onto that area and I'm allowing that to flow more so towards the left. And then I'm gonna proceed to do the left side with the coils. <laughs> Y'all, this unit is only $137 for this length. And for that price point, listen, we are able to hook it up and not do a whole lot of work. So right now I'm just getting a little bit of baby hair out and I'm gonna begin to manipulate that and flatten it out the way that I desire. I'm putting some Sebastian Shaper on this area and this is a holding spray and I'm just gonna allow that to just do what it does. Now I did start this process of laying my baby hair with a rat tail comb but I decided to switch it for this edge brush which is specific for this particular task. So I did that and I like it so much better and y'all know, the jam was coming next. <laughs> Let's jam. This is my jam. When it comes to these type textures, I love this stuff. It's going to look so juicy after we finish. is laid honey now I know that you all noticed that I squeezed the hairline a bit more and that's because after you apply the jam it allows for it to be a bit more stiff and you can actually see your work a little more so I tweezed it after I applied that and now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna make sure that the lace blends with my forehead so I'm adding this Ruby kiss 3d face creator to the areas where the lace is kind of showing a little in the front <laughs> I hope that you all enjoyed seeing another lace wig install with an affordable unit this time and one that we can make look curly because I know you all enjoy the curly textures. This unit once again is only $137 for length 18. You cannot beat that. This is also the Brazilian hair texture and the starting price for this unit in length 8 is only $75. Now they are currently running a fall sale so I'm not sure how long it's going to be priced that way so you want to share this with your friends. So I hope that you all love it. Be sure to like like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your notifications if you haven't already. Also check the description box for all the links and specifications to this unit. I love you guys and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye y'all.